friends, today is Indigenous People Sunday. Let us take this opportunity to pay tribute to our Indigenous brothers and sisters and the poor of society. So come, join us. Ating alamin ang ating tungkulin bilang mga Kristiyano sa ating mga kapatid na kapos sa ilang aspeto ng buhay. Marami po sa ating mga kaibigan sa Facebook ang nagtatanong kung bakit tinatawag ang simbahan na Church of the Poor. Alam nyo po, ngayong araw ay napakagandang pagkakataon upang ating talakayin ito. Tamang-tama rin po ito sa ating pagdiriwang ng Indigenous People Sunday. Since the 1990s, we have often heard that the church in the Philippines is called to be the Church of the Poor. This is our response to the call of the Second Vatican Council and the Second Plenary Council of the Philippines for a preferential option for the poor. Ang nasa isip ninyo siguro, ano po ba yan, Bishop? Bakit po kailangan pa yan? Ang preferential option for the poor ay ang ating pagbibigay ng higit na halaga o pansin sa ating mga kapatid na salat sa kabuhayan. Ngunit ito ay hindi limitado sa mga kapos sa material na bagay lamang. They include victims of human rights violation, slaves, war refugees, and even our indigenous brothers and sisters. Tama po, kasama rin dito ang ating mga kapatid na katutubo dahil sila ay itinuturing din na mahihirap sa marami at iba-ibang aspeto ng buhay tulad ng pangkabuhayan at edukasyon. This Indigenous People Sunday, we value them and celebrate with them in order to inculturate our faith in their cultures. Tinutulungan po sila ng ating mga misyonerong pari, madre, at mga lay catechists. We are doing this act of compassion because the Word of God, the Bible, teaches this. In the Old Testament, God favored the poorest of the poor. And in the New Testament, God in Christ became poor, lived with the poor, and proclaimed the good news to the poor. Even up to the present time, this is still the same stand of our church. In fact, according to the principles of the Catholic social teaching on the obligations of Christians, we are to follow the examples of Christ in giving preference to the small ones, to the least ones of society. Ilan sa mga nangunguna sa pagsulong ng pagbibigay halaga sa mga mahihirap ay si San Agustin ng Hipo at si Blessed Teresa of Calcutta. Noong si San Agustin ay ubispo pa po, madalas niyang pinaaalalahanan ng mga tao sa kanyang mga humiliya o sermon na isipin at bahaginan ang mga mahihirap. He even reached the point of selling the sacred vessels just to give assistance to the poor because for him, helping the poor is an act of love at ito po ang mukha ng pag-ibig ni Kristo. Si Beata Teresa ng Calcutta naman, ginugol niya ang lahat ng kanya makakaya upang matulungan ang mga mahihirap hindi lamang sa India kundi maging sa ibang lugar ng mundo. Dinamayan niya ang mga taong tinalikuran na ng kanilang mga mundo. She took care of the sick, gave clothes to the naked. She begged for food and water for the hungry and thirsty. She made the poor experience pure love. She offered her life for the poorest of the poor. Our church is called the Church of the Poor not because it is exclusively for the poor, 
but because in the name of God, the church is a refuge for the afflicted, marginalized, poor, sick, dying, abandoned, and unwanted. To be truly universal, the church must not leave out the poor who form the majority in the church. Ang simbahan ang tagapagkalinga at tahanan ng mga walang mapuntahan, kundi ang Diyos. The church represents the love of Christ. He said, Whatever you do to the least of my brothers and sisters, you do it to me. Makita sana natin si Kristo sa bawat isa sa atin, marali taman o maginhawa ang buhay. Till our next meeting, may the good Lord bless us all.